thank you for joining us. I'm totally mesmerized by the picture rescue of this province, which is showcased by the painting behind you in the background. Located in the central and eastern part of China, Anhui, together with Shanghai, Jiangsu and Zhejiang, constitutes the integrated development region of the Yangtze River Delta. Anhui links the east with the west of China, along the rivers and near coasts, and has many air and water shipping roads. Its waterways connect the river to the sea, and its high-speed railways are connected to form a network. The mileage of high-speed railway through the province ranks first in China. From here, Xiaogang village started China's rural reform. The region also promoted the exemption of agriculture taxes. The forest chief scheme has also been promoted to the whole country from Anhui. The adventurous and reforming spirit has been integrated into Anhui people's blood. Today, Anhui has reached new heights, which witnessed an opportunity for its development. Last year, its GDP was close to 4 trillion yuan, or about 600 billion US dollars. The growth rate ranks the fourth in China, and the per capita GDP exceeded 60,000 yuan. Its economy is witnessing a historic transformation. From the total volume is middle, and the per capita is low, to the total volume is high, and the per capita is middle. So the economy and technology in particular witnessed rapid growth over the past years. Do you think it is largely because Anhui benefits from the uh, uh, regional integration of the Yangtze River Delta, which was upgraded to the level of the national strategy? And in what way do you think that Anhui can fit itself into the whole regional integration? We have seen three prominent changes. First, we have become an official student from an auditor and done many great things that we couldn't manage to do. For example, the wafer manufacturing base project with a total investment of 220 billion yuan has been formally signed with Shanghai, Jiangsu and Zhejiang. The strategic cooperation between Jiangsu and Volkswagen, the headquarters of NIO, has settled in Anhui, and the Baoma Steel has restructured itself. Last year, Baoma Steel for the first time produced over 20 million tons of stew, a record high. Second, the region has been integrated into a community, which has solved many difficult problems that we couldn't solve. Fifteen interprovincial roads have been completed, and the Shanghe Hangzhou, Hangzhou Huangshan, Ning'an and Henan high speed railways are now in operation. Third, from good neighbors to family members, which benefits us a lot. Hefei, Shanghai, and other cities are more connected and people in Anhui can enjoy high-quality public resources in Shanghai, Jiangsu and Zhejiang. Anhui has taken the lead in original innovation and industrial innovation, and its regional innovation capacity has been among the top in China for nine consecutive years. We will continue to make good progress and build a scientific and technological innovation community in the Yangtze River Delta. The output value of strategic emerging industries in Anhui accounts for over 40% of the industrial proportion, leaping from a big manufacturing province to a strong one. We will cooperate with Shanghai, Jiangsu and Zhejiang to promote the effective division of labor and reasonable connection of the industrial chain, ensuring effective collaboration under the banner of the big leading with small and the upstream the downstream collaboration and safeguarding production, supply and marketing. Last September, the Anhui Pilot Free Trade Zone was approved, which has brought great benefits to Anhui. We have taken the initiative to strengthen interaction with Shanghai Jiangsu Zhejiang Pilot Free Trade Zones and accelerated the preparation for the establishment of Yangtze River Delta Pilot Free Trade Zone Alliance to boost foreign trade and investment. First, we are building a platform to promote stable and favorable foreign trade. By the end of January, there will be over 3,000 newly established enterprises in the zone, over 360 major projects, and the investment attracted by the agreement reached nearly 300 billion yuan, with a scale and proportion of foreign trade reaching a record high.
The total import and export value exceeded 500 billion yuan for the first time. Second, using exhibitions to attract foreign capital, we will move the main battlefield to the Internet and turn face-to-face -face into screen-to-screen -screen discussions. A series of major exhibitions, including the World Manufacturing Conference 2020, the Jianghua Economic Online Forum and the World Display Industry Conference were held. Last year, the actual utilized foreign direct investment increased by 2.1 percent. Third, we have boasted investment abroad, seeking to explore emerging markets apart from the traditional ones. Actual outbound investment grew by 5.6 percent last year, and the number of new contracts signed for overseas projects increased by over 31 percent. That is definitely some huge progress for sure. So another big change actually in Anhui is, is a poverty alleviation efforts. And we know over the past five years, Anhui has done tremendous achievements in poverty alleviation. And now we are transitioning from poverty alleviation to rural revitalization. So it's definitely going to be a different ball game. And what measures do we have to achieve that? Poverty eradication has always been a top priority of General Secretary Xi Jinping. Since the 18th National Congress in 2012, she has led hundreds of millions of Chinese people in conquering poverty, creating another miracle that will go down in history. Like the rest of the country, Anhui has made historic achievements in poverty eradication. Nearly 5 million people have been lifted out of poverty. That's 3,000 villages and 31 counties. Despite the elimination of absolute poverty, relative poverty will continue to exist for a long time. We need to give equal attention to those in need. Now, about 1.8 million people of the province are provided with substance allowance. The average standard of substance allowance is over 7,600 yuan per year. And apart from poverty alleviation, I know Anhui has been devoted to scientific and technological innovation. So we have artificial intelligence and we also have electric cars, quantum communication, which is very important given what is happening between China and the United States. So the key is talent recruitment and what will you do to attract talent from China and beyond, especially when you have cities like Shanghai and Hangzhou around. Innovation is Anhui's specialty, and innovative talents are the foundation of the province. We provide talents with good benefits, opportunities, good pay, sincerity, and better facilities. These platforms and scientific installations help gather a group of top international talents here. For recruitment, we hope to utilize their expertise and hope they can come frequently. Anhui is exploring the mode of talent team plus scientific and technological achievements, plus government participation, plus equity incentive, giving leading talents full autonomy in their research, project evaluation and achievement transformation, encouraging and guiding them to participate in the construction of major projects so that they can make contributions on the bigger stage of the science and technology. The income from the transformation of scientific and technological achievements in Anhui used to reward the researchers in the first period will reach 90 percent. Through the establishment of the Manning Quotas Pool, we have granted quotas to a total of 10,000 posts to universities, all of which are used to hire high-level talents. A Chinese saying has it, the place where I can settle down is my home. The sense of identity and belonging determines whether a person is willing to stay. More than 50 years ago, we gave the University of Science and Technology of China a great support with the principle that everyone should save a ration of food every day and make sure that the university's teachers and students have enough to eat. Today, we cut government spending in other areas to give these talents a good life. We are providing high-level professional talents with convenience in terms of housing, children's schooling, easy entry and exit, 
medical care, green channel at the airport, and tidal appraisal, among others. We have invested over 7 billion yuan to support 220 high-level scientific and technological talent teams so far. So you are about to be headed for Beijing for the two sessions. You know, that is one of the most high-profile events in China when plans and new laws are made every year around this time. What will happen to this central Chinese province of Anhui? The 14th five-year plan is the period when China starts the new journey of building a socialist modern country in an all-round way and marching towards the second centenary goal, and it is also an important period for the development of Anhui. To build a modern and beautiful Anhui in a new stage, we can sum up the goal with three keywords, strong economy, prosperous people, and beautiful ecology. Strong economy is to create a new image of innovation-driven and industry-driven regional linkage. During the past five years, Anhui's economy rose from the 14th to the 11th place in China, and its per capita GDP rose from the 25th to the 13th place. In the next five years, our economy will go further, making our way among the top in China and narrowing our gap with the East. New efforts will be made to build a new development pattern, expanding effective demand and improving the modern circulation system, enhancing the scientific and technological innovation capacity to ensure that our regional innovation capacity remains among the top in China, advancing the integrated development of Yangtze River Delta and increasing Anhui's economic contribution to the Yangtze River Delta, improving the integration level of infrastructure, industrial system and public service connectivity centered around Hefei, making breakthroughs in reform and opening up to ensure Anhui's imports and exports exceed 100 billion U.S. dollars through the pilot free trade zones and other platforms, improving the degree of social civilization and cultivating the province with a stronger innovation spirit. Promoting ecological progress with more rational energy and resources allocation and reducing major pollutants, improving people's well-being and achieving common prosperity, improving governance and build a law-based Anhui, a law-based government and a law-based society, create a livable, harmonious, beautiful and rich community. In the next five years, we'll make the cake bigger and in the meantime share the cake fairly to increase middle-income population protect the welfare of the local residents, and boast insurance coverage. Hopefully, the proportion of middle-income groups will surpass 40 percent and the income of urban and rural residents reach the national average. Ecology-wise, we strive to create a beautiful picture of the bluer sky, greener mountains, and cleaner water. In the next five years, we will continue to improve the environment by taking the reform of the forest chief scheme and ecological compensation and implementing upgraded version of the prevention and control of air, water and soil pollution. Here I also want to extend my greetings to the audience around the world via CGTN and hope they can come to Anhui for a visit and experience the charm of the province. Also, I hope to share the development opportunities with you all.